I pray that you're having a wonderful Christmas season. By the time you watch this, I will have come back from New York, but I record these way in advance. And I'm doing a bucket list thing for this year. I'm going to New York to the Broadway play to kill a mockingbird. And uh, I'm excited about that. In reading the Christmas story, we can imagine how Joseph felt when he learned that Mary was expecting a child. More than likely, it was a time of great doubt for him because he was much older. He must have wondered what good could possibly come from this situation. But then, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and told him of the miracle that was soon to take place. When he awoke, Joseph put aside his doubt and followed the guidance that he received, all in God's order. Well, like Joseph, we may be confronted with situations that cause us to doubt. And yet, when we follow divine guidance, we will soon discover that there is a God order at work in every area of our lives. And we will rise even from the deepest despair, to find the greatest miracle of all, God's constant, loving presence in our life. We remember this from what it's based on. In Matthew 1.24, when Joseph awoke from sleep, he did as the angel of the Lord commanded him. My dear friend, I pray with you during this entire Christmas season that it's as it unfolds that you discover a miracle of God's order in action in your own individual life and in the lives of those that you love and hold dear. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen.